The reviewers of Young and the Restless, Tucker really loved Ash- Ashley. It is said that the man's weakness is love and rightly so. Everything is going in the right direction. Ashley is his weak point and it is exploited by many. Victor Newman tells Ashley that they have to control, find out what Tucker's real purpose is, whether he wants to be sociable or wants to make war with many people. Then they will find a way to solve it. At over 50 years old, love means nothing to Ashley. She thinks it's crazy stuff she needs to get rid of. Tucker returned to Genoa because his self-love rekindled. He wanted to to return to conquer Ashley again. He didn't want to lose the man he loved. Nikki, Phyllis are afraid that Ashley will be shaken by this genuine love. They will lose a, a quality team teammate, but no, Ashley promised herself that she wouldn't be swayed and trust Tucker again. Tucker has a clear goal. He wants to make Ashley the CEO of Jabbit, but she, when she is appropriated by Jack, but that was the wish of John Abbott and Diane. There was no wish here. Jack is a person who deserves to lead a large corporation, and Ashley should be the assistant director. It was Jack who caused Phyllis and Diane's fight. He left a woman to choose another. For the spirit of an elegant man, it was not possible. Ashley promises Jack that she will not change her personality. She will stay by Jack's side and reassure him. She never betrayed her family because of the position of CEO. Ashley said that she does not need a high status to do anything, just a peaceful and happy family. Tucker is also someone she's stalking, and if something goes wrong, she'll tell everyone the truth about him. Diane, Jack, and Tucker are three people who are closely related to each other. Tucker has been strong people this whole life. Jack will protect his family and Ashley. However, Tucker will successfully interject between Jack and Ashley. Will Tucker let Diane stop her plans in The Young and the Restless?